Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 150 to 200 chompy kills an hour. This is for after you've completed the big chompy bird hunting quest and want to get chompy kills for the hats or dire requirements. I'd also recommend partial completion of Zorg Flesh Eaters to unlock the comp orc bow. It's not needed, but it definitely helps speed up kills as the comp orc bow has a faster attack speed than the normal orc bow. The comp orc bow also allows you to use the brutal arrows, which will help you kill the chompies faster. Otherwise, you'll be stuck using the normal orc arrows. I ended up using just under 200 arrows for 300 kills with Ava's. I never picked up any arrows off the ground. In my inventory, I have a teleport out for when I'm done, as well as 24 orc bellows. The last three spaces I generally leave open. You'll need some open spaces for when you inflate the Swamp Toads. I also never ran out of energy, but if you have a low agility level, you may want to bring some stamina pots. Depending on your level, you may be able to bring one or two pots. You can trade some of the Org Bellows out, but I would highly recommend having a minimum of 20 Bellows in your inventory. For gear setup, you're going to want to bring the Comp Org Bow, or the normal Org Bow. And the brutal arrows if you have the comp org bow or the normal org arrows. Again, a comp org bow and brutal arrows are the best. Some dragon head armor and an Ava's are essential. The rest is up to you. I like to bring some lightweight armor to reduce my weight and also a necklace of anguish and archer rings are nice but are not needed. I'm now going to show you how to get some extra bellows if you need to. For getting multiple bellows, you'll need to head back over to Rance's Cave and Felda Pills. Through your ring AKS will get you there quickly, and then you'll need to steal from his chest. If you have one or more bellows in your inventory or bank, you won't find any more bellows in Rance's chest. So you need to drop them out of your inventory first and then steal from the chest again. All right, I am just outside his cave, so I will show you where the bellows chest is. Rance is to my south where this quest icon is, and if I enter the cave, I need to go north, west, and the locked org chest. You don't need anything. No keys needed. You just need to unlock it. So make sure you don't have any bellows in your inventory. So drop them all out. And you have plenty of time to do this as the bellows will not despawn for three minutes. They will be on the ground for three minutes. So go ahead and unlock the org chest. And click search org chest. Drop the bellow. Search again. Drop the bellow. Search again. Drop the bellow. Search again. Drop the bellow. Eventually the chest will shut and you got to open it again. But get 24 to 25 bellows on the ground and then pick them all up and once you have the 24 to 25 bellows we'll be ready to start killing the chompies. I'll now show you the best place to kill the chompy birds. Once you have all the items and gear you need head over to my location here which is west of Castle Wars. This is the best place to kill chompy birds and will net you 150 to 200 kills an hour. Fill up all your bellows by right clicking on the swamp and selecting Suck Swamp Bubbles. Your bellows will start to autofill. It does take a few seconds, so give it some time. Get a full inventory of your org bellows to three each. And then we're going to want to inflate the swamp toads. For this uh, video right now, I'm going to stop, but I would continue to get a full inventory of bellows. So go ahead and inflate the swamp toads. And immediately drop that swamp toad on the ground. So you can easily just left click it and it'll drop automatically. Or you can right click and drop. And then get another swamp toad and inflate. And just keep doing this until chom chompy birds start to spawn. If multiple chompies spawn, attack all of them to get them off the toads, and then start killing them. You want to make sure you attack the chompy the second it spawns. I always attacked all the chompies and then went back to the first chompy to spawn. 
The reason why you want to attack the Chompy first when it spawns is because the second you hit it with an arrow, it'll stop focusing on going after the Toad. And it, it won't eat the Toad. If you don't attack the Chompy, it will eat the Toad, and there'll be one less Toad on the ground. So, you can see here, this Chompy is eating my Toad, and that's going to make that Toad disappear. But this Chompy, now that it's been attacked, it's no longer going to focus on Toads. So now I can go back to this Chompy. Whenever a Chompy did spawn, I would just attack all of them in the order they spawned, and then I'd go back to the first Chompy that spawned and killed it. I never experienced any despawns. I believe one Chompy did walk south and never showed back up. Uh, you can keep an eye on the minimap and on screen to see that when the Chompies do spawn, an arrow does appear on their head to make it easier. The Chompies generally spawn by these two swamps. Sometimes they sp uh, spawn over by where this Chompy is, or some down south some over by the coast, and occasionally some over by Gra in this north. You do not need to pluck the Chompies for it to count. You only need to kill them for it to be considered a kill. To check your kill count, all you need to do is go to your bow and select check, and you'll see how many Chompies you have killed so far. Again, you don't need to pluck. I'll show you that plucking it does not add to the Chompy kill count, as my kill count did not go up at all. So go ahead and keep inflating the Swamp Toads and dropping them. You cannot drop them on each other. And uh, just make sure you attack the Chompies as soon as possible so they do not despawn any of your Toads. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.